doing, good people? This is the 8 Bit Animal. Today, I got a good one for you. It's actually on a slick. This is probably one of my favorite characters in a video game. Um, it's not one of my favorite games, though. Um, but I don't know what it is about this character that just, just that's just really cool to me. And he parallels in a way he parallels Wario because the point of this game is him seeking treasure and getting and basically getting money um, this title is an arcade port from the arcade game was made in 1987 this came out in 1988 it's from the good folks at Data East today's game is Karnoff. Now, in Karnoff, you play as former um, circus strongman Jenerov Karnofsky, or Karnoff for short. And Karnoff is basically on a tr on a quest to get treasure. And in order to get this treasure, he has to traverse a number of different areas that are full of weird creatures trying to destroy it, including dinosaurs, um, rock creatures, gargoyles, other strong men, stuff like this. Now, to aid in your quest, you can find a number of different items, high jump boots, ladders, um, some wings, yeah, Karnoff grows wings and flies at one point in this game. It's, it's pretty wild. Um, and you do all this strictly to gain to, to gain wealth. Just like Wario does in the Wario Land games. Now, Karnoff, in the arcade version of Karnoff, um, you get hit once you're dead. The home version, you have two, well, the NES home version, you have two hits. First one turns you blue. If you find the right power-up, you'll regain that extra hit. Second hit will kill you, kind of like Ghosts and Goblins. Um, and as far as the platform is, is concerned, it feels a bit like Ghosts and Goblins, except for the fact, well... Including the fact that your character's jump is a bit floaty. If there's one complaint I have about this game, it's that. Um, but as far as the character's concerned, um, Karnoff himself has appeared in a number of different Data East titles. Because he was essentially Data East's mascot. Which is the weirdest thing ever to me. Um, Capcom for a minute had Captain Commando, then they had Mega Man, then they had Ryu. Nintendo always had Mario, Sega had Sonic. Uh, Data East had a Russian strongman as their mascot. <laughs> it's utterly hilarious. But he appeared in um, as the first boss in Bad Dudes vs. Dragon Ninja. Um, he also appeared as the final boss in both of the Fighters History games. Remember Fighters History? I talked about it a few, like, a while back. Um, it's the fighting game Data East put out that they beat Capcom in a lawsuit in a um, court battle over, yeah, that game. Well, unfortunately, we never saw a proper sequel to Karnoff. And I was actually pretty saddened by that because it's a solid platformer. And it's one of those games that uh, it has a lot of character. It, it, it really does, especially to say this game came out in '88, and your character doesn't really talk. There are no cutscenes in this in the NES version versus the Famicom version. Yeah, there's a lot of character in in, in Karnoff, and sadly we didn't get a sequel to that. But um, hopefully, whoever has the rights to the trials and tribulations of General Karnofsky can give us another game. Uh, finding a copy of Karnoff is really, really easy. And any lover of just a fun platformer should definitely pick this up. Um, 
I know I love this game. If not for the entire, for the game, for the sum of its parts, but for that main character. This has been the 8-Bit Animal. And I'll catch you beautiful people tomorrow.